When you see a fly, what exactly are your first thoughts of them? They're annoying? They're ugly? They're an inconvenience? The chances are that you probably have a can of insect kill just lying around your house waiting to exterminate one. Or how about a fly swatter? Or maybe just the good old fashioned house shoe? For the average household, these cases are most likely true. Though have you ever considered giving these little creatures the benefit of the doubt? What if they were more important than we care to realize? Give this video a chance to change your mind about all the negativity given to flies. I recently did a poll and found that most people still don't know that flies are one of the few non-bee pollinators there are. It's quite obvious that bees are the most common and arguably the best pollinators out there. But there's no way that over the years and years of animal and human population increase and our reliance on plant, that bees would be able to handle the pollination job all by themselves, which is where the fly comes in. The most common fly known as the house fly is responsible for pollinating the plants responsible for helping to grow produce such as cocoa beans, avocados, and mango. And I can say for sure that I'm a huge lover of chocolate, guacamole, and mango. Foods that probably wouldn't be produced in really large portions if not for flies. They are also responsible for pollinating a lot of beautiful flowers that you see around your neighborhood. So let's take a look at what pollination is and why it's so important. Pollen can simply be described as the sperm of a plant. Pollination is the process in which pollen is transferred from the male anther to the female stigma of a plant. This allows for the plants to reproduce and make seeds which are responsible for making fruits and vegetables. Since most plants eventually die, the pollination of plants is very important for the nourishment of humans, animals, and other insects. So what's the point in exterminating flies if they're basically helping us thrive? Another unique thing is that flies do not chew their food. Instead, they vomit a digestive enzyme onto their food to liquefy it and suck it up through their proboscis, which can also be described as a straw attached to their body used to eat. If they didn't use this process on the fecal matter of animals and other waste, it's said that habitats and landforms would be pretty unsanitary. Your backyard or any place where an animal is basically any wild animal has left any sort of fecal matter, it would still be lying there with some sort of disgusting smell. Without flies, none of these things would break down. Animal carcasses. Flies are responsible for eating and breaking down the bodies of animals. Sure, fecal matter and animal carcasses break down on their own, but at a way slower rate than if flies were there to help the process. There would be messes of dog poop everywhere. There would be a lot of animal carcasses just lying around. Both feces and dead bodies decompose over time, but at a far slower rate than if we had flies doing their thing. And this is something that many people are still very unaware of, and yet another reason we should thank these little insects. Science also shows that flies are in fact sentient, meaning they have the capacity to feel pain and suffer, acknowledge themselves, and it's even said that these insects actually feel pain just as much as any humans do. Most people wouldn't harm a bee because of their contributions to the planet, but why not keep that same attitude for flies? What is present in a bee that makes them immune from being killed versus that of a fly? Bees pose a bigger physical threat to humans by stinging them, and in fact, 1 in 45,500 people will die from a bee sting, which places you at a higher risk of death from getting stung than skydiving. Now I'm not telling you this in hopes that you'll go attack a bunch of bees and try to exterminate them or just possibly hate them or even treat flies better than bees. But it's really just to question your logic. If you wouldn't harm a bee, why would you harm a fly? And don't worry, bees don't sting unless they're provoked. And it's very unlikely that you'll die from a bee sting if you're actually stung by one. The only harm that science has shown for a housefly to cause death is the transmission of certain diseases, which happens to be so rare that there's not even an estimation of the amount of deaths caused by diseases transmitted by houseflies. But with that being said, why are houseflies such a threat if they never contributed to the deaths of people and have the same contribution to the planet as bees? Flies may be among one of the top annoying insects ever, placing them directly behind the mosquito, but is that really a good reason to slaughter them? 
If someone's baby were to annoy you in public, would you go bonkers and just attack that child? No, you do the opposite and ignore it because they're incapable of knowing whether you're annoyed or not. Much like babies, flies don't know that they're annoying you and they certainly aren't doing it on purpose. The main reason for why we should respect certain insects isn't because of their contributions to humanity. It's because they're earthlings in which we share this planet with. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if you have a fly infestation or you can't get them out of your house? Well, in that case, you should probably get your problem taken care of, especially if it's a danger to your household. But for the most part, flies have a relatively short lifespan. Their lifespans are only 28 days long, so not even a month. And as long as you keep new flies from entering your home, it shouldn't be a recurring issue for flies to keep occurring in your home. I think the closing question here is, if a fly isn't of any harm to you, why harm them? Surprisingly, some of the most hated insects out there play a huge role in our society. So let me know down in the comments which insect you would like to see me cover next. Be sure to share this video and help end an unnecessary massacre on flies, the insect that is helping our society so much more than most people even care to realize.